Hi everyone, yes, it is now Wednesday and the sun is out. It's actually a sunny day, so we've got some uh, sort of clearer skies today. There still looks like there's a little bit of rain up there, but at least it looks uh, a little bit brighter and it sort of puts everyone in a much better mood. Now, today is a little bit of editing, a bit more organising. Actually, I will show you this. I will show you my organisational skills. And the reason I'll show you this, I'm not going to show you it close up, but this is my video book, which you've seen before. And then that up there is a spreadsheet to do with the Christmas Advent giveaway. And the reason I'm showing you that is because people think that you just put these videos up in a sort of 40 second or a one minute video, which is what the Christmas Advent videos are. They're about sort of 45 seconds, something like that. They think, well, that's easy. That took you 45 seconds to make. Not so. That sort of spreadsheet there is all the organisation of uh, recording the video. Uh, well, uh, no, let me backtrack. The organisation is uh, arranging the prize, be it either a prize I'm giving away or a prize another company's giving away. So it involves all the emails backwards and forwards to arrange the prizes. Then I've got the recording of the videos, then the edit editing of the videos, then the uploading of the videos, and then all of the annotations had to be done. And this spreadsheet lets me keep track of where the prize is coming from and who it's going to as well. So when I contact a winner, there's a little tick box saying I've contacted the winner. Then there's a tick box for when they've responded. And then there's a tick box for when the prize goes out. And then there's also a claim code as well because I asked the winners to quote a code when they're claiming the prize. So a lot of organisation goes into it and people don't see that at all. Even the annotations on the videos um, took a long, long time to put all of those annotations on. And then, of course, every day I have to update the annotations as well. It's great fun to do, don't get me wrong. I just wanted to show you what I actually did to uh, put the advent videos together. But anyway, as I say, the rest of the morning is editing, really. And then probably going to be doing a little bit of shopping as well today. So I might take the afternoon off just to do a few sort of personal bits in this sort of run-up to Christmas. So I've just put up a really exciting giveaway page. In collaboration with Hoparg, we're giving away an HD PVR rocket. And I actually did a review of one of these on the channel about a week ago. Basically, the HD PVR rocket allows you to capture your gameplay, but it's very, very clever. You don't need to connect it to a computer. You can capture your gameplay direct to USB memory drive. You know, one of those little flash drives, you just plug it into the unit and then connect either your PS3 or Xbox 360 or even your Xbox One, and then you can capture direct to that memory stick. And you can even plug a microphone into the front of the PVR rocket so that you can do your voiceover, and it captures then both the gameplay, the audio from the game, and your voiceover. Now, I'll put a link to the giveaway page in the video description, but this is what it looks like. We've got details at the top here of the giveaway. We've got a countdown to when the giveaway ends, a couple of pictures of the product, and then we've got how to enter, and there are four steps. All you need to do is like our Facebook pages, follow us on Twitter, tweet out a message, enter your name and email address in these boxes at the bottom. There's also a link to my YouTube channel here, so you can subscribe to my YouTube channel. And then once you've completed steps one through to four, then you click the yellow button at the bottom, which says enter giveaway, and you are entered. And the giveaway runs through to the end of the year, and then round about the 1st or 2nd of January, we'll randomly pick a winner and you'll get an HD PVR rocket in the post. So, at the time of recording this particular part of the video, the news has just came out that the new Mac Pro will be available to order tomorrow. So by the time you're watching this video, because the videos are 24 hours behind, you will already be able to get hold of, or at least order, a Mac Pro. Now, there's no news as to whether you're going to be able to walk into a store and actually pick one up. Um, I would suspect there will be very limited supplies in store, but according to Macworld in the UK, their article that they've just updated today, they contacted the Regent Street store in London and they didn't have any details about stock. So that's not to say that they won't have stock, but they're just not releasing the information at the moment. Now, when the Mac Pro was first announced, I said publicly that I wouldn't be getting one, and that's purely because I've got a Mac Pro already, the current generation Mac Pro. I've also got a Mac Mini, and I've also got a Retina MacBook Pro. 
and I wouldn't really need the power that a Mac Pro actually offers. But the news has changed because I will be getting a new Mac Pro in. I'm not sure whether I'm going to go for the 4-core or the 6-core version, uh, but I definitely will be getting one into the Geekanoid Studio, and that will become my main editing machine. And the current Mac Pro, Mac Pro I said Mac Pro then, didn't I? The current, it's not a Mac Pro, it's a Mac Pro. The current Mac Pro that I've got in my editing room will probably remain there. I did put it up for sale, and I was hoping to get round about the sort of 900 to 1,000 pound mark for it, but nobody was interested at the time. So if, if somebody is still interested, get in touch, but I'm not gonna let it go for less than that because once you go below, below that sort of price point, you're creeping into Mac Mini territory, especially if you upgrade the memory in a Mac Mini and you put a solid state drive in there, you're sort of getting up to the same sort of price level as what I was hoping to get for the Mac Pro that I've currently got. So um, I may well just hold on to that. I'm not gonna let it go for a ridiculous price. So yeah, exciting, exciting news. And uh, I've got a sneeze coming. <coughs> oh dear. That is probably, in the seven years that I've done YouTube, my first public sneeze in a video. Oh, and I've got another one coming now, so I'm gonna end this segment here. It is late at night, it is pouring with rain, and that is it for me for today. I'm gonna to see you all again in tomorrow's video. Thank you very much for watching. Hit that like button, see you in tomorrow's video. Thanks so much for watching the video. If you'd like to watch another amazing video from me, please do click that top box. And if you wanna to subscribe to my geeky channel, click the red box on the bottom of your screen now. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.